All right, guys, so this is a podcast for adults, so if you're a kid, I wouldn't recommend listening to this because it's more of adult-oriented. Um, and if you're wondering, this this episode, like every episode, gets off the rails very quickly. Um, so let's jump right into it. guys welcome to the die high podcast it's the did you hear about this i'm bryce i'm Derek, and we have a special guest today hello i am thomasino officer thomasino yeah Derek has a friend um he's super nice and as <laughs> he's I was hiding in Bryce's closet this whole time. So when I was in I, when I was in high school, <laughs> time for a story. Oh look, a podcast is about stories. We're not reporters, not historians. Sometimes we get things wrong, but this is not a time where to get things wrong. I am a reporter. I report the law because I'm Officer Tassino. I when I was in high school, I was trying to find like my niche, like trying to find out the thing that I did. So I did. I tried a lot of things out. One of them happened to be puppetry. Fucking puppetry. <laughs> I thought, like, Jeff Dunham made a, a billion dollars off of Jeff it. Jeff Dunham is a hack. He relies on those little people too much. <laughs> <laughs> they should leave him and do their own show. They, yeah, I agree. I think that they tried to do a TV show once, actually, called the Jeff Dunham Show. Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was crazy. God, God. They heard the puppets were, like, alive, and they walked around and shit, and Peanut was actually allergic to Peanuts. That was one of the episodes. Oh, that's really funny. That's such a weird name for him, then. I guess it's supposed to be an ironic nickname. Yeah, I know, right? Weird. You think that's weird, Bryce? Yeah, Bryce, do you think that's weird? You're looking at it like you're talking to it. <laughs> well, I am talking to it. He's, he's in the room. I'm in the room. I'm right here, Bryce. Bryce, look at me. I'm going to come over your monitor. Oh, it's God, I to you. <laughs> that's the end of my nightmares. <laughs> I look down I'm, for a second. I look back up. He's in my face. I'm going to watch you from your closet every oh, day. God, I hate this. I hate like this so much. Like some weird cuckold. I might, I might have you take that home with you, <laughs> just to get it out of my place. I'm not taking this thing home. Things uh, with eyes freak me out. Yeah, do hey, I don't like people. Hey, do I have to refer to both you when I do this? Do I do the well? Story in the age? room, you don't yeah. want to be rude. Hey guys, did you hear about this? What? Yes. What? What are you talking about? Have you? Did you hear about Count Dante? Have you heard about Count Dante Tassino? Yes. Yes, I'm very familiar. I'm not familiar at all, but Tassino seems to be. Well, for Derek, I'll continue on with the story because you know we both know. I motion to it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I. Oh God, this is the, the worst. worst part. Is this is just a bit for us too? No yeah. one can see this. Fucking no, you can puppet. see this puppet. I could just be using my fucking hand right now. Yeah, but he has a he has an actual. I spent like I think I got I got that as a gift. Can we take a picture with this? Can this be our mascot? So I, Tassino, I, I, Officer Tassino, my aunt. Gave me that as a gift for Christmas one year because they had they had one. And I'm like, oh, this is really cool. And I was like playing with it when they're outside their place. So they got me my own, and it's haunting. It's a fucking Mexican police officer, like a like a stereotypical one too. Looked, Don't you dare call me a stereotype. I like his eyes. I, I'm sorry. I, I, you do have blue eyes. They're very pretty. Oh, thank you very much. You're, you're, you're welcome to see them. If you're wondering, this is Derek's. Uh, this is how Derek also does voices for the D and D campaign. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to die. I want to die and end up in a hole. Well, Bryce, you can just leave. I can hold this. I know this story. I can tell it. <laughs> me and Derek, we can do the. No, you're not replacing me. <laughs> Hey, shout out to the YouTube channel, uh, Okay, I Weird Stories, for uh, to letting me know and I learned where I learned about the story from. Hey, guys, so John Kehan, he was born in Chicago in 1939. 1939, that's a very long time ago. Be quiet, yeah. you're ruining the story. <laughs> uh, he went to a local gym in high school where he boxed. After high school, he joined the Marine Reserves and later the Army. Where he learned hand to hand combat and jujitsu techniques. Ah, the army. Not as great as the police force, but almost as good. Oh, God. T- t- see, that, it's a very important thing to have people in the armed forces. You, 
It's important for your job, too, but we need both people here and there. Do you understand? Yes, yes, I understand. I will let Bryce continue the story now. Oh God, this is hell. This is what hell is like. He trained under... In hell, they can see where your fears are. <laughs> They, wow, that was dark. <laughs> <laughs> that was really dark, I love man. Like, see, you guys can't see. Whenever Derek does this, he moves a puppet towards the mic like he's actually using the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Derek doesn't understand. He can keep it as far from the mic as he wants as long as Derek's close to the mic, it matters. No, he has to move up so people can hear him. You don't want him to wait because if he's way in the back room, he sounds like this way over here. God, what he trained I have under? To be close to the microphone. I'm gonna keep going with the story. Okay. <laughs> he trained under various martial arts masters during the 1950s. Kihan eventually got his black belt in karate and went on to become a sensei himself. Uh, he was the Midwest director of the United States Karate Association until 1920, 1962. He left the USKA and to form the World Karate Federation in 1964. There was another World Karate Federation that was founded in 1990, unrelated. Mm. Um, in Chicago, Kihan pr- co-promoted America's first full combat style martial arts tournament in 1963 and hosted many other such tournaments in the 60s. Um, also, while I was doing research on this, it just... Uh, just as one line, and it's, a, it's actually a quote from the article I was reading. is like, Kehan also worked as a hairdresser. That's, that's the only mention of this. Oh, so that's why he sounds familiar. That's where I get my hair done. You can't tell because it's under my hat. You haven't got your hair done since the 60s? I'm very old. Very old, Bryce. Yeah. I have lots of knowledge. No, you're very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. Your your knowledge is like down here. Mine's is like up here. Like, at the, the, the tire tier. Do you, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Right, you're down here. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Do you agree? I don't like when you looked at me. <laughs> you had pointed slightly to my left. I don't know left. why he's afraid of me. Be afraid of me. <laughs> yeah, that's what this voice reminds me of. It's from, uh, the same, similar voice was from, uh, the movie Food Fight, where it was like the, like the, like the, like the, uh, how what was he? He was like a, like a animal, he was like a this guy who sold things out of his jacket. I actually did the voice for that. That's why it sounds so familiar. If you look up up on Wikipedia or IMDb, you'll see me, Officer Tassino. Is is your first name Officer? Y- yes. <laughs> <laughs> the moment, the moment on Derek's face is like, I thought of a last name, didn't think of a first name. <laughs> over uh, over this time, he had it's O F F. I S I R off Sir Tassino. God damn. Okay, that's gonna We're we're not even ten minutes in, I'm already in hell. Uh <laughs> <laughs> over this time Kian drew disillusioned with the effectiveness of traditional karate. Thus he started de- developing his own style and he would promote it that he promoted would be more street effective. Through his efforts, Kian developed a style that became known as uh Don Te system. That also known as the Dance of Death, or sometimes the Kata Dante. Theoretically, by learning all the steps of Kian's uh, Dance of Death, you were thereby an effective fighting master. Um, in 1967, Kihan legally changed his name to Count Juan Rafael Dante, explaining that his parents fled Spain during the Spanish Civil War and changed their name to hi- and hid their royal heritage in order to hide in America. Uh, if you're wondering, the surname Dante is uh, Italian origin. <laughs> okay, I that, I knew that one already. Yeah, because that's uh, then the guy from who made Dante's Inferno. Yeah, he's Italian, right? If yeah, I'm correct. That's from Italy. Yeah, but he's claiming to be from Spain. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does not. He often boasted himself to further his reputation. The most notorious one being that he participated in death matches in Thailand and China. Killing his opponents in front of crowds of thousands. I've killed many of my opponents, too. <sighs> we know. The police here do. <laughs> we take no prisoners. <laughs> um, so What are prison cells? <laughs> I just call them holding cages. <laughs> I hate this. Uh, he also began advertising Bryce, himself. <laughs> He's just moving. <laughs> Derek's moving his fingers inside the puppet, so his his face is distorting. <laughs> he 
<laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh, we're uh, I'm okay. fine. You can keep doing this for the rest of the story, but when we go to the next story, I want to take it over. You want? I'll I'll show you. Casino. Yeah, I'll, t- I'll take the casino over. <sighs> Derek's what? face, it's the most p- pained look face. What do you feel about that casino? I don't know. He did just wash his hands, so I guess it's okay. Yeah. All right, you can go to Tocito after this. You can go to Price um, after the story. So after after boasting all this, he also ad- began advertising himself in comic books. This is what a lot of people might have heard him from if you're comic books during like the '80s and stuff. All right. He advertised himself as the deadliest man alive. Okay, I'm gonna read the ad. I thought that was Ken Shamrock. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. Read oh no, he's the, he was the most dangerous man alive. Yeah. I'm going to read this quote for quote, like word for word. This is what he put in comic books. Mm-mm, clear my throat. I had to do that just in case I take over. See, I know you're... sometimes I know sometimes you need people to read for you. So when I was while I was getting ready for this. Like when I, when I was doing a lot of that, Derek put it like the puppet down for a second, and when I did that, he popped back up behind the computer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, this is the deadliest and most terrifying fighting art known to man, and without equal. It's maiming, mut- <laughs> mutilating, disfiguring, paralyzing, and crippling techniques are known only by stop. <laughs> St- <laughs> I can continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> Because like popping up behind the computer like slowly, so I keep like trying to push it away. So I'm trying to focus on the on the story, but it's very distracting. <laughs> it's maiming, mutilating, disfiguring, paralyzing, and crippling techniques are known only by a few people in the world. An expert in dim mock could easily kill many judo, karate, kung fu, aikido, and and gong fu experts at one time with only fingertip pressure using his murderous poison hand weapons. Jesus. In, instructing you step by step through each move in this m- manual is none other than Count Dante, the deadliest man who ever lived. I like that. Do yeah. you like that? Yes, I like that very much. It seems very interesting. Even though I don't know anything. I don't know karate. I know crazy. Much better. Uh, do you know any do you know any fighting skills, Bryce? Um, I know how to make a noose, and I'm going to be using that by the end of the episode. I think he's talking about you. Just saying. Anyways. <laughs> in, so, yeah, he advertised himself as the deadliest man to ever live. Do you want, do you want to hear what happens when... Uh, the deadliest man to ever live. When people try Can to... Can he outlive Bullets. Uh, Put that gun down. No! <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine, fine. He's not even in the room. I'll put it down. Good, good. Bryce, slide that slide that across the table. Take that from him. Where'd you get a real gun? I, I have one. I'm a man of the law. I know, but like, I don't I make don't, me get out my stick. I, God, don't. I, if you it's have right a, here. Oh God, why is it it's twice your size? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so when, so Dante advertise himself as this big fighter and stuff but there's clearly there's other actual like fighters yes they're like this guy doesn't seem legit mm-hmm. so that people opposed him and then people who went against him he kind of went he's kind of off the rails already right mm. he kind of went farther off the rails mm. on july 22nd 1965 dante was charged with attempted arson after he and his accomplice douglas doyer in parentheses the second deadliest man alive <laughs> 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 he hangs, they hang out together. It makes sense. Uh, they were arrested. find the third deadliest man, get a fucking trio. <laughs> You're looking at the third deadliest man alive. <laughs> Fuck, we need to get you to see these guys. No wonder you got your haircuts in the 60s with this dude. The third deadliest man alive standing right next to us, oh, Bryce. man, he's tall, dark, mysterious. And handsome. I didn't say that. I, say I'm handsome, Bryce. I was having flashbacks when you were like, your face was morphing. And it... <laughs> Bryce, oh, say God. I'm handsome. <laughs> oh, God. Say it. I'm so scared. <laughs> say it right now. You're handsome. That's what I thought. Anyway, fix my tie now. Uh, they were arrested while taping dynamite caps to the arrival dojo. Shit. <laughs> That's serious. <laughs> yeah. How many laws is that breaking right there? 
they casino. Were, they were charged with... That's a, a lot of laws. But they were only charged with attempted arson. Ah. Yeah. Crooked judge. They were both... Uh, they both claimed to be drunk at the time. And Dante said they attempted this because the dojo's owner and him had a disagreement over payment for a tournament Dante had arranged there. Situa- situations like this built between Dante and his rival dojos. When on April 20th, 1970, the Dojo War happened. The Great Dojo War. The Dojo War happened when Dante and some of his students went to a rival dojo and claimed to be police officers before attacking the other dojo. Oh, no, that's not good. You can't impersonate a man of the law. Trust me, I know. I used to do it before I actually got this job. <laughs> it's not a temporary position. I, I I was deputized. I'm not even a real police officer. <laughs> I got this. I got this. I got this uniform at the party city. Where'd you get this gun? Uh, they, there's a lot of gun shows in Florida. <laughs> there are. There are a lot of. Gun you don't. Shows. You don't. You don't need a thing for license for that. You really. It's. It's insane down here. Um. So they. They. Uh, oh fuck! Poli- we should have did Florida man with this guy. Yeah. Damn so, it. So they did. Uh, they claimed to be police officers before they attacked the other dojo. Like full on karate moves and shit. That's how uh, the Saint Valentine's Day massacre happened. Actually, yeah. they uh, they all pretended to be officers, lined everybody up, and just shot them. Well, there was a lot more deaths in that one. There was only uh, there's a lot more ass kicking in this one. Yeah, that but, should be a that could be a movie. Has br- there not been a movie about this guy? Well, it gets it. Well, yeah. Well, Dante isn't like the greatest dude in the world. No, but that's the thing. You could do a villain story. Yeah, like Scarface. The brief battle resulted in the death of one of his friends and fellow sensei, Jim. Convict, the third day this man alive. <laughs> convict? Did you say convict? K O N C E V I C. Ah, not not convict. No, it's not convict. 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 The third deadliest man. I didn't say if he was the third deadliest man. I'm assuming he's not. I'm the third deadliest Fine. man. Fourth deadliest man. No, I'm so deadly I take up spots three through seventeen. He could be the eighteenth deadliest man. I'm, I guess I'm not glad you're putting him to the fucking mic anymore. <laughs> I, I I moved him so he has so, to stare at you when he talks. <laughs> so so when <laughs> so after after this fight happened, the police were called off. The actual police were called, um, and Dante went to like was arrested, mm-hmm. but he was acquitted of all charges because after the lecture, the judge lectured both dojos like, "What the fuck were you guys doing? <laughs> Bunch of dumb Somebody died." <laughs> Because you two were like, well, I'm a better dojo. You mer- someone died. There's no mercy in this dojo. No uh, mercy. <laughs> start beating the shit out of people. So, uh, unfortunately, the deadliest... Uh, this happened in 1970. Uh, Dante uh, oh, did pass away in his sleep. the 70s. He did pass away, not in a fight, like big, but he passed away in his sleep in 1975. Very sad day. Yeah, he was... Sad day in the Kung Fu And he was like 38. Shit, that's young. He had a uh, he, he had a hemorrhage from an ulcer. Mm, that probably has something to do with his uh, karate yeah. then. At that point, I, I think so. Yeah. So yeah, he died from. So it was. I also I was looking up this during the fight during like the actual dojo war. Uh, he was found hiding underneath the table. <laughs> 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 Fuck. After like after like it got super serious. Mm-hmm. I. He's like, I can't be here. Yeah, I think he hid underneath the table, and they, when the police got there, they found him hiding underneath the table. The only way this joke could be any funnier is if it was more than just two dojos. There's like that scene from Anchorman where all of them start showing up with <laughs> different little weapons and shit. Do you want to see him? Because honestly, he looks hilarious. Sure, I'll, I'll look at him. I, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you his picture. I already know what he looks like. I've, I'm great friends with him before he passed away. Okay. I know you just got hair cups. From I'm gonna him. show you in three, two, one. He looks fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of something to say with Tocino. Yeah. He looks like a wannabe, like, mid, like, a, one, you know, okay, you know when you see, like, those old black and white horror movies? Yeah. And he always got the guy who's, like, worships Satan, so he has, like, a fucking goatee and shit. Yeah. He looks like that. <laughs> he looks... <laughs> no, Look at oh. his face. Look at his face. <laughs> Fuck, that's dumb. Look at the dude behind him. Which one? Th- these two. Oh, these okay. two. I want you to look at this. Okay, so we're looking at one of picture of him, and it looks, I think it's a lot of his. He looks like he's doing the Wolf Fang fist so, from Dragon so Ball. So he he made the Black Dragon Fighting Society, which I, uh, during I was looking it up, it said, "Do not confuse this with the Black Dragon Society." That was an actual gang that murdered people. 
So wait, so, what is their names? They're the Black, Black Gang, Black uh, Dragon Fighting Society. Black Dragon Fighting Society, and the other one was Black Gang Society. Black Dragon Society. <sighs> they had the word fighting. Fucking idiots. Between these guys, between those two, difference between these guys and an actual gang is the word fighting. What the fuck's this picture? Him and a woman. That looks creepy. He's got like his yeah. finger holding her chin. This man is creepy. Look at him. <laughs> well, no, there's a difference between like when you're trying to promote something. You're like, I'm gonna be the creepy guy to promote stuff. This looks like a fucking family photo that somebody took. Not very good lighting either. No, they didn't harsh. have good lighting back in the '60s. They didn't I, care about so shit this was, like that. Yeah, I'm putting up the ad that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the ad that I read from. That's so it's, stupid. It's it's everything I just I said it, ad earlier, and it's above it says "Deadliest Man Alive," and then above that is a big picture of Count Dante with like a weird, like spiky background looking. Yeah, thing behind it's like him. pink and red behind him, and he's in like a karate like pose. And a stance. You're looking for the yeah. word stance. I, we don't know how his legs are in this picture, and you know they're spread out. Yeah, and he just looks like his face. He right looks now. like a stereotype. He yeah. looks like the dudes from those old kung fu movies that only black people watch. Yeah, I just you know this... what those are. Have you ever watched any of those, Bryce? I, I know the okay. old uh, like not Bali Brothers. That's that's we, we established in another episode. I don't. I didn't. I don't watch a lot of black exploitation movies. No, it's not black exploitation. It's kung fu. Yeah, when they brought it over to America. The, you know the ones where the dubbing is really horrible? Yeah. For some reason, black people love those movies. Oh, My dad know. sits, and I'll walk out and be like, what are you watching? He goes, it'll be like, The Five Deadly Venoms. Like, haven't you watched that one before? Yeah, I've seen it like six times. Like, why do you keep <laughs> watching it? It's it, not that good. The movie is a good movie. No, it's not. <laughs> I want I want this pose to be just engraved in your mind. I can do that pose. That's You You can only control one arm, Derek. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> like that. Am I, am I doing it you right? You look more constipated. More constipated. There you go. You look... You, yeah. I got it. Fighting style. <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to cover... Think about that for the next time you talk shit. Oh, if you're wondering, the idea for the cover of... Uh, mess Don't with mess with the Zohan. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't mess with the Zohan. Was is it based off of him? I think it was inspired uh, by. Sit my fucking knee. I think, I think it was inspired by. What's the? Is that him? Like in his older life or something? No, he remember he, he died, died in the thirty eight, but he could have got fat when he was thirty eight. That's that's like a wrestler. It yeah, because it's on like ropes. Yeah, I think it's the guy that inspired by him, the Dante. Um, yeah, because Count Dante. Wait, go back. Go the back. name Count Dante. Came, it came from a book. Did it now? Yeah, it sounds like it. I'll show you. It came. I think it's from uh, Count of Monte Cristo. I've never read that. People say it's really, really good. Sorry. <laughs> we can talk about this for a second. I ate lunch too fast. So Derek hiccups when he eats lunch too fast, but he hiccups up in a very strange way. Yeah, I don't. I don't go like. I like breathe in. Yeah. So it can't. Yeah, it came from the Count of Monte Cristo. Oh, okay. So that's how. That's where he got his name, and his name was legally Count. I understand that. Warrior, Ultimate Warrior's legal name was fucking Warrior. Yeah. And uh, Teller from Penn and Teller's name is legally fucking Teller. So I think you can be named whatever fuck you want if you got the money for it. Yeah. We used to do that. Bryce, we should switch our names. Wait, what do you want your name to be? I'll be Bryce. You oh, be God, Derek. Oh, switch names. <laughs> we can switch names. <laughs> why, would we, why would we switch names? We, I, would, I would something like... I want to be taller. That's not... What? <laughs> That's how it works, right? You, you uh, we should get you if you want to be taller. Bryce isn't like a tall name. We need to find you like a tall only Wilt. Fucking <laughs> thank you from Foster's Home. Yeah, that's a great show. It yeah, was so, all right. I prefer the Animaniacs. Oh, that's really nice, Tessino. Yeah. No, no one here under the over the age of twenty understands what that joke is. Um. So that's all I have for Count Dante. Mister um, Count Dante, to you. Okay. Look at me. Oh gosh. Look into my eyes. Do you see your fears in death? I see. Don't not not his eyes. His eyes don't. No, no. Look. <laughs> <laughs> the mic and everything. Jeez. Look, look at me. What? I'm so, no. Well, I'm not th- him. Stop looking at what him. What I'm me. thinking right now is how. No. Stop looking that way. Look. Don't this touch way. me with that thing. <laughs> Why do you want me to look? Like, I'm looking at you. Fear me. God. 
Worship me. I am your new god. Officer Tassino. <laughs> I don't like this. I, the thing is, I have anxiety, so I can't actually look at things for very long. Stop looking at him. He's not part of this. Can can we can we pull that back now? I, you got to talk him down. I, can, I, I'm hey, not. Hey enjoying. man, can you just back up a little bit, please? No. I need in order to go to the next segment, which I need to talk about first. I need you to back up. I got to fix my arm first. <laughs> <laughs> my arm's He's not shoving in. his hand into his mouth so he can fix the stick in his hand. I'll do it for now. We're gonna. Do you have the stories pulled up? I have the first one. All right, we're gonna start right right here. Yeah, that's the beginning of it. That's the beginning of the story. <laughs> I'm just helping you out, Bryce. I, I, need, to, I need to explain it first. I have to help my subjects out. Oh, God. So, uh, recently, as you, of... Do you want Tocino? Uh, I, I, you said you wanted Tocino. I super don't want him anywhere near me. <laughs> he doesn't like you, Tocino. I'm, I'm holding on to my cup like it's like my comfort right now. <laughs> Dude, you're so, coming back in like 10 episodes. Bryce, if you throw this thing away, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Oh, God. I have to take this away from you so you don't do anything with it. So, recently we started uh, trying a new segment out. We've been doing Florida Man. Florida Man's going to come back again. We're going to try this new one out for a couple episodes. See Eventually. How it goes. Yeah. Um, we're doing a segment called Time I Fucked Up, where I go to the T-I-F-U uh, subreddit, and I find some uh, Today I Fuck Up stories, but like, like the time I fucked up better. Um, and I find some stories from real people claiming to have real stories of when they messed up. And we're going to read through them, talk about it a little bit, and see where this goes. Oftentimes, they're pretty funny. Um, and it's better, I realized after the last episode, last episode we did this, it's better if I don't read the title out. Mm-hmm. And it's a surprise to you when I get it. I was like, you let me pick them last time. Yeah, I let you pick them last time. So I'm going to try that something different this time. Let's see how this goes. We're working it out. So I have a couple stories ready. So and we, now we even have we have more than just two perspectives now. We have we have three, four if you count the voices in my head. I was gonna say I figured that I figured that <laughs> third voice has always been there, Derek. <laughs> I don't remember him being a police officer. So uh, usually he just holds the rope. Uh, God. Damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble for that joke. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's let's go into the first one. Um, it happened about two months ago at a national conference in my field that I was invited to speak. The conference started out great. Met a lot of sp- cool people. Made some good connections. Did my speaking that morning. The l- then lunch comes along. It was a buffet style, and this and the start of it was a bunch of different cheeses you could choose from. But halfway down the buffet. Uh, I see what looks like another large plate of single type cheese. Thinking that the hotel was just uh, hard on for giving people cheese, I took I take a few. Okay. Um, I get back to the table and eat and talk with other conference goers, and finally get to the last bit of cheese I took. I eat two sticks of it, and it's weirdly soft, and not at all like the other cheeses. It's a fucking butter. One person gave me this odd look of concern. I eat a third stick of it. Thing is, some this is way too soft to be cheese. So what the fuck is it? Internal panic ensues when I realize it's butter. <laughs> and I just ate a bunch of it in front of a table full of my peers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> have you ever... Eat have you ever... thing of butter? Yes, I have. Oh, that... Uh, I was not going to ask that, but let's talk yeah. about this for a second. Yeah, I was, I was at a... Uh, I was at a Denny's with my family. And yeah. When you order breakfast, they give you butter. Yeah. But they gave us like a... They gave us like a... You know how when you get sauces? Mm-hmm. They, they fill it up with, like, a little glass. Yeah. And usually when you get breakfast, they just put the little slabs of butter on it. Yeah. They didn't do that. For some reason, they gave us a, uh, a little cup of butter. Okay. So we didn't use all of it. Yeah. And we were, we used some of it on our pancakes or waffles or whatever the fuck we got. And I went, what are we going to do with this? I'm like, they're probably just going to throw this away. They're not going to put it back in because we used it already. Yeah. And, uh, and, and uh, I can't remember who it was. It was my mom and my sister. They're like, well, yeah, just leave it there. I'm like, no, that's wasteful. I just take it. And I slam the whole thing down. Oh, God. And I start laughing to the point. Everyone's laughing. And, I, and I'm laughing to the point that I can't swallow the butter. Oh, God. So I'm just in there with like, it looks like there's a cum shot in my mouth. Oh, God. Uh, but it's butter. So it's like slightly yellow. Oh, God. And I'm just laughing. And then uh, spitters or quitters. I end up just going. <laughs> and I throw it up on the fucking plate. <laughs> oh, come on. So man. now it just looks disgusting. I'm like. 
the worst part is I got talked out of not trying it again. I yeah. said, I'm like, all right, I think I could do it this time. I wanted to take it back. <laughs> <laughs> And, and they were like, and my family was like, no, we're leaving. We're leaving right now. And they're like, but no, I can do it. I know, because I, I wanted to do the joke so yeah. bad. I'm like, I can eat this fucking thing of butter. Yeah. It was a, it was a, okay, you see this cup in front of us? Yeah. It's like that much butter. That's a lot of butter. That's a lot of butter. That's, that is like, honestly, that's a lot of that's butter. That's a lot of butter. That's a lot of, that's the butter that anyone should ever have yeah. in a day. <laughs> and you're like, I'm going to slam it right I now. I do it. I did, oh, I did it then, and I, uh. And I did the same thing, not with butter, but uh, Sam will tell you about it. It was, uh, I want to say it was like syrup. It was like a jar of syrup or yeah. something like that. Like they came in a little, you know, I, yeah. I hop they have the little glasses. Yeah. It was it syrup or was it jam? It was like, it was something like that. And yeah. I did that in front of her and it made her gag. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it was, uh, it was the same day we went to the, uh, petrified forest. Ah. So, so she hated me for a little while. So I'm like, look, Sam. And I smashed it all the way down. <laughs> look what I can do. And she looked away from me. Um, and I have like stuff in my mouth like, don't look away from me. Look, look at me. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> look at me eat. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Uh, I was going to ask, have you gone to a buffet and not know Sam, something similarly on the thing? Not what it was. And you get it. And you start eating. like, what is this? And you say what it is. And I'm like, oh. That's disgusting. I uh, not a buffet, but I've done that at a at a restaurant huh? where they offered uh, that different fries. Yeah, and I went, oh, what? Because I didn't I didn't see regular French fries. It was one of those things where you had to go up and they would give you food. It wasn't like you like a buffet where you pick your own food out. It's yeah. like a line. And uh, I'm like, you don't have regular fries, and they're like, we got we got these fries, these fries, and and yucca fries. I'm like, what's yucca? And I'm like, and, or, sorry, yucca. If I'm correct, I believe I think that's so. pronunciation. Yeah. And they went, they went, oh, it's just a different type of potato. And I'm like, okay, I'll try them. They're the nastiest fucking things in the world. So what's the yuca? Yuca, I believe. It's a, it's a, it's a spud, I believe, but it's not a potato. It's more like a squash, if I'm correct. Look it up, yuca. I see, like, uh. But yeah, they look like fries. Yeah. No they look fries. like wedges. I look like, uh, almost like steak fries. Yeah, like wedges or steak fries. Let's eat. But they're horrible. Wow, yuca looks weird. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a uh, yeah, it's, it's it's it looks like a, it's a root. It's like a uh, it's like a daikon. It looks like a turd. Well, yeah, I well, guess so. But you don't eat the skin. It's like a it's like a squash. You, yeah, or a potato. You don't eat the skin. You, you eat the skin if you want. You can, but these ones obviously don't have the skin in them. They're so I it. have many stories of, of me of picking me, up the wrong shit. And me at buffets, and they go with this. So I'm gonna go through a, a couple of them how stupid I am at buffets. I went to this. Uh, I'm from rural Ohio. We didn't have like it was it was a city technically. There's a good amount of people in it, mm -hmm. but there wasn't a lot of options when it came to restaurants. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, it's like we have a bar and a restaurant, and like that's what most of the town was because we're you know rural Ohio. Everyone's sad, so we're everyone drinking. But anyways, uh, there was a there's one like uh, buffet mm -hmm. like at the time at least, and it was it was a place that had uh, Chinese food, Japanese food. It just called it, uh, Asian buffet. That's what. It, That's like, like three six nine Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Do you get? I never told you that. There's a restaurant over near where I live. It's a China. It's a Chinese food place, but I guess they didn't have a creative name, so it's three six nine Chinese restaurant. <laughs> and that's how it is. It's like Chinese, and I was just like, that's the stupidest fucking name I've ever heard. Yeah, that's kind of a dry brush place. It's just called Cleaners. I'm like, yeah. oh, I wonder what they sell there. <laughs> <laughs> so they had. It's called. Uh, so in this place. Mm -hmm. They have labels and all the things, so yeah, we know what it is. Mm -hmm. But this one I always went to, it didn't have a label on this one thing. It was like a skewer of meat. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know what this is. So I had it. I'm like, it's not bad. I don't know what it is, though. Mm -hmm. I went there for years. Not knowing what it was. Yeah. I had, like, every time, I'm like, I hope this is, like, normal food. <laughs> I'm like... Well, meat is meat. You can eat anything. Yeah. Any meat. I, it turned out it was just pork. Oh, But, okay. like, looking back on it, I'm like... I was eating questionable meat. I didn't know what it was. I would have went with. I, I was guessing it was going to be like lamb or something. I was just pork. No, that's but no how they cook have it. you had lamb? It's I delicious. I have not. But I, I want to. But so I, they didn't. How, how they made it was something mm -hmm. I never had before. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I just like, oh, this is really good. Don't know what it is. That's why I like hanging out with you, Bryce, because yeah. we talked about that with food. And like, I don't eat. Uh, I don't go out of my comfort zone when it yeah. comes to like food and stuff. Yeah, you have me eat. A sushi burrito once. Yes. Even though I didn't get any sushi in it. Yeah. It got was... chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and now you go to that place all the time. I went there twice. Hey, I did so sign up for the program. <laughs> I, uh, another part 
I went to a, I think it was the same idea place. Like it was, a, there's Asian food and it's a buffet. Mm-hmm. You're like whatever. They have a hibachi section. You mm-hmm. go to things, you put in the hibachi for you to cook. I didn't know it was a hibachi. Mm-hmm. So I walk up, I'm like, ooh, noodles. And I just like grab like raw ingredients. I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, I guess I grab some of this. And I just kind of walked away. <laughs> I'm just raw, like, <laughs> raw food. So I'm eating like these cold noodles. I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. with my dad. I'm like, I don't think I like this. So like, that's, yeah. It's cook not it. cooked. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I should probably cook this, shouldn't well, I? Bryce, you me, you know a story that I've done that when we went to uh, Isabon. Yeah. For some reason, they have a, a section where they have like, they're like little donuts. Yeah. Remember, you remember the donuts? Yeah. And next to that, I'm like, oh, this must be where all the desserts are. Yeah. So I grabbed like two other things and one of them was like nasty like cider things with seeds in it. Yeah. And the other one tasted like McDonald's chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> they were next to the... Next to these desserts were just chicken nuggets. Yep. Um, I like I like that one uh, opposed to the one that's closer by uh, me. Mm-hmm. The one over here is – it's great. Don't get me wrong. I love that place. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have a buffet like that. I've only eaten at the, I think one, that, uh, I might, I eaten at the one that we've gone to. I've yeah. never been to another one. It is fantastic. We should go back soon, but it's expensive. Anyway. So, anyway. So, it's a Tocino. Yes. I, why, did I why did you answer? Why did you answer I, for me? I am Tosino. Am back, I not Tosino? You are Tosino. Tosino. I am Tosino. I hate this. I'm backing you up by saying yes. To talk to him now. So, anyways, Tosino. Yes, yes. What would you like? Do you have any stories of grabbing the wrong food and not knowing that it wasn't the food you were looking at? Uh, yes, yes. I actually have one good story. So, Bryce, I actually made a mistake once before. I was once in a restaurant, and they had this large bowl. And I thought it was dessert. I thought it was full of brownies. It wasn't brownies, Bryce. It was shit. God damn it. It did not help that I was in the men's room at the time. (laughs) Tocino did not think clearly on this one. Someone obviously did not flush. And I ate. Someone obviously didn't think of this joke ahead of time. I, I, I've actually, (laughs) Tocino knew this story as soon as you asked the question and he went with it and thought it worked. Casino has eaten shit. It is it is it is canon now. Oh god, this this weird universe. It was created. weird that it had nuts in it. <laughs> this die hat universe. <laughs> oh god. Hat. I, I, ha- I have a hat on. I'll be dying that hat. Die hat. He doesn't mean that, does he? It's, oh it's man, name, I don't know what the fuck show. to say to you. It's the name of our show. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, you're gonna die. Not this episode though, because I want to bring you back for a reunion. We have a re- just dramatic, like, scripted thing where the, we're gonna make him die. We're at 28. When we reach 50, we're doing an anniversary episode, and Tocino is coming back. We're gonna bring back a bunch of jokes. All back. the jokes. Um, You're calling me a joke? No, 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 Tocino. It's a bit. It's a bit. It's not a joke. That's what I thought. Because I didn't want to have to use this gun. No, shit! <laughs> Another one! <laughs> that you, one's even bigger than the last one. You don't have pockets. <laughs> not... I, I shoved them up my rectum. <laughs> <laughs> Tocino, put that one down. To give me that, give me that. You don't need that. You're a man of the law. You can use, you can work with your hands in the rules in the rule book. Give me Bryce here. Take this one too. I don't know where to put these. Uh, sit behind you. Sit over there. Okay. Good. Good. Oh gosh. Uh, that's Tocino. I can calm down. <laughs> I know to calm me down. You want to talk about the next story from? Time I fucked up? I I, th- I think so. Yes, yes. Let's move on with the next story. So, uh, I'm going to read again straight into it. We have four children, all of whom are adopted. Adoption is therefore a topic they have grown up with and speak us uh, pretty openly about in our home. We, of course, understand that their knowledge of such a complicated matter is limited at this time. So any chance we get assistance for explaining the situation we take? A few days ago at our local library... All of the girls were engaging in story time. So I began browsing the uh, four children's books and came across a book about adoption. While at the library, I read the book, which covers the the process of adoption, and thought it would be appropriate, even helpful, as our girls are ages four and five. And the questions are really beginning to roll in. Back at home, I read the book to one of the three four-year-old daughters, who completely misunderstood and is now absolutely positive she is being adopted by a new family. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey. 
Bryce really liked this story. Uh, Because kids are stupid. That's true. (laughs) So, if you... Okay. Do you have any any story you want to bring up right now? Just do one for now, because I feel like we probably have a lot. Involving what? Adoptions? Uh, you, no, you being stupid as a kid. Me being stupid? Oh, I'm, I'm always a fucking idiot. I just have you have you had did I re- one... did I ever do the story about uh, me almost flooding the basement with snow? I think so. Okay, because you because you had put in like that like well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I've done that one then. Uh, I like that one though. Can I? I'm gonna. Can you stop rubbing your phone on I'm the cleaning, bed? I'm cleaning it. <laughs> I, that bed is very dirty. It's not, I'm cleaning my phone. I I see what goes on in that bed. I live in that closet. Oh, God. I hate this so he much. He does stuff. I I know. I know. That's why I put you on so I don't have to touch it. I put you on the bed so I don't have to feel it. <laughs> uh, so when I was in like middle school, high school, mm-hmm. I, uh, looking back on it, I'm like disgusted by like, w- what I did, like mm-hmm. the stuff I used to do. Mm-hmm. So my mom, when I was doing... When I was back in Ohio, she worked as a babysitter, like a professional. Mm-hmm. The, the, all the kids would come over to our place. She would watch them all day. The parents pick them up later. And it was – she had plenty – many kids mm-hmm. when she did this. So <clears throat> so she often do because she can't – like she's not in the mood to like cook at the end of the night because she just took – cooked and took all these kids all day. Mm-hmm. Is that she would pre-make like food for us to grab and like cook real quick in the microwave and it would be fine. Mm-hmm. One of those things was like a big thing of, uh, of hot dogs. She'd cook them all at once, and mm-hmm. then put them in like a like a plastic bag, and like you just grab one up, throw them in the microwave for a couple seconds, good to go. Mm-hmm. That's what you're supposed to do with them. Did you just eat them raw? Yeah, I used to just take them out of the bag cold and just eat it with my fingers. Looking back on it, I'm like, "Well, you can eat cold hot dogs. They're, they're can, already I, cooked." Yeah, it was cooked again. Yeah, so it's double cooked. Yeah, I still like looking like it's I wouldn't. Cold hot dogs. I would not do that now. I, it depends on the hot dog. If it's cheap hot dog, I would. It, I wouldn't get like seven dollar hot dogs. And do I would that. still like no heat it up at least. Mm-hmm. I'm like I used to do that with pizza all the time. Uh, but we that's the thing. Cold pizza is good. No, it's not. You're technically not supposed to eat cold pizza. Germ bacteria grows on it when it gets cold. Well, there's You're a supposed pla- to cook it. <laughs> there's a place back home called I'm going to say the Great Pizza. I love the pizza. It's AJ's Pizza sponsor us, but <laughs> <laughs> all the way here in Florida, do it. Free advertisement, and they have awesome pizza. And you can, you always have to buy the jumbo because it always tastes different than the smaller sizes. I don't know why. And Bryce was a fat boy. When you yeah, grew up. I, I'm a fat boy now. But <laughs> <laughs> you Bryce, can, we are all fat boys in this room. So, the, so the because I'm a police officer, better known as the pig, very fat. So the uh, so I don't know pizza, what voice this is. I don't anymore. know. You keep changing. Uh, mm. <laughs> So the pizza was like good, like hot, like great. Mm-hmm. And then later on, you could put it in the fridge, like, oh, sweet, I'm going to get pizza for breakfast because it's going to be cold and be awesome. Mm-hmm. So I had it for breakfast too because it's cold. And I'm like, oh, this is great. Because I'd put like, I put it, like, I put it away. So it was like sealed up. Mm-hmm. So like, bacteria couldn't get to it. Mm-hmm. So when it came out, it was cold without bacteria and it was good. <laughs> That's one of my things. All right, so you got me talking about pizza now. Yeah. That's always one of my things I hate about moving down here. Mm-hmm. All the pizza down here sucks. I hate most of the pizza here. Uh, it's all right. There's like it's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, my favorite pizza place is up in Maryland, and mm-hmm. every time I go to Maryland, no matter what, we could be going there for only five hours. I'm like, we're yeah. gonna go stop and get some pizza, <laughs> <laughs> and it's I, delicious. I haven't had uh, the pizza place I was talking about in years. Mm-hmm. I've I've visited, I just haven't gotten it. I once did that because like it's so popular. Mm-hmm. It's busy. Everyone I'm going like it was a visit. I had it yesterday. I had it the day before. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> I, but I want it. <laughs> yeah, go get a small one then. Or get a big one. I have, and no, then you have to get the jumbo. <laughs> you, get the, you get the jumbo. You eat some of it. You know how big the jumbo Rice is? Rice is the most breaking shit in here over there. You know how big the jumbo is? 18 probably. Uh, the size of this table. So about 20. So wait, is it a square pizza or yeah. is it a round pizza? It's a, it's the, the jumbo is a square. Oh, okay. So it's a Sicilian pizza. Yeah, it's like this big. That's it's not big. bad. Rice, literally, it's you this. could... Yeah, I'm, you, I'm moving away. I see. For the back of the desk right here. This way. I, I, I get you. If you get it, if you get it during early in the day, you eat half of it for that, eat some of it for dinner, and then save the rest of it for the road trip back. Yeah. Or, keep, you know, you take a plane, don't you? Keep it cold. And it'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. Awesome. Or you cook it on the, you cook it on the uh, dashboard. <laughs> it'll, it'll heat up there. Especially in Florida. Um... I forgot what the subject was about this story. We started talking about pizza. Adoption. Uh, <laughs> it was like you being stupid as a kid. Mm. Yeah. I was a pretty smart kid. 
I don't believe you at all. I was pretty smart. We talked about on this podcast, but you shoving things into outlets. Yeah, that's that's when I was like five. That's a kid. <laughs> nah, that's that's still infancy. Um, I, consider, think... I consider kids to be like eight to like twelve. Did did you ever like threaten your parents to run away when you were little? No, I was smart enough to realize I couldn't get very far. My sister did that a lot. I though. I decided I was gonna run away and join the circus. No, he's gonna be the frog kid. kid. You know what I was gonna be. I was going to go in our backyard, and then we had a swing set. I'm like, I'm going to make a, like, little room out of this, like, like this is, like, because you have to climb up to get on the top to get on the slide. Mm-hmm. And this entire thing is made of, like, wood, and there's, like, a platform up there. Mm-hmm. So you can, like, go on the sides, you can go on the hang- the uh, monkey bars. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, there's, like, a, like a, like a, almost a little room up there. I'm like, I can caution some of here. I can, like, block off some of these things, and just it's a little room. I can just stay in here. Fucking idiot. Yeah. You're not very smart. Nope. Anyways, over the weekend, I is just, this the next story? Yeah, <laughs> he's going to like, straight to. You didn't even ask Casino if he was ever a kid did something stupid. I feel like he's gonna talk about murdering someone or something like that. Don't you want to ask him though? Hey, Casino, were you ever a kid and did something stupid? No. <laughs> so I'm gonna go on to the next one but there was this one no <laughs> um, over the weekend I decided to catch a ferry to uh, wow boy that's a word that's the name of an island P-U-L-A-U first P- word P-U-A-U Paul P-U-L-A-U it's Polo like Plua P- wait say that again P-U-L-A-U Plua Plua I'll go with Plua. Plua Ubin. Ubin. Okay. U-B-I-N. Ubin. Yeah, Plua Ubin. Uh, a small island... Who are you, Ubin, Plubin? A small island off the coast of Singapore. As context from the ferry terminal, one of the sim- one simply exits the door marked... Uh, what did we just say? Plua Ubin. Plua Ubin. Or Ubin. Sorry, Plua Ubin. Ubin, Ubin, Ubin. And boards 12-person... Uh, Ubi bum boats. Where are you? I <laughs> got the boats leave irregularly only once they are full, and the cash payment is made on board. When I arrived to the ferry terminal, a large group was boarding, so I joined the crowd down the path and settled in. As three boats pulled away, I noticed a general look of misery on board. Certainly far more than I expect from a visit to a beautiful tropical island. Some people carried flowers. With horror, I realized I was somehow I somehow gate-crashed a barrel at sea. <laughs> I sat there for an hour, trying to sink in my chair, whilst the boats rafted up and performed the ceremony. Wait, what? He was trying to go take a ferry over to an yeah, island. He yeah. got on the wrong boat to a water funeral. Oh, to a funeral. Oh, okay. yeah. A uh, Buddhist monk scattered the ashes and performed the prayers, whilst others threw flower petals in the ocean. I felt terrible. After a time, the boat headed back to shore, leaving me no closer to where I was going. Oh, it's a nice funeral. That sounds lovely. You ever? A- I was going to ask. You ever accidentally? Been to a funeral? funeral? No. I no, like... but I, I have been to a funeral where they uh, cremated somebody. Yeah. And I we walked into the church and I went, what's that big jar? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how old are you? I was probably 12. Yeah, you fucked up when you were a kid. <laughs> <laughs> my, I, you know, the worst part is my mom will probably be like, that didn't happen. I remember that story because it was our actual church we went to. And they yeah. rolled out a table, you know, so you sit, so yeah. sit the uh, urn on it. And I'm just like, I thought it was like a plant holder. And I'm like, what's what is that doing here? Why is that in the middle of the room? <laughs> that jar is missing flowers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it has a lid. <laughs> Why does it have a lid? Is it like carry water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I did that once. I can't even remember whose funeral that was. Oh, I think there's somebody from the church who I don't really, because I was a kid, so I probably didn't know. Yeah, him. you're like, I'm, I'm here because my parents dragged yeah, me here exactly but I remember asking that because we sat in the back and I was not quiet I'm like what's with that pot <laughs> uh, yeah it's I, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like I see talking about the subject is kind of very tiptoe around like sad Funerals? bits no it's not funerals are funny you can they can be yeah okay I'm gonna I'm gonna admit something here okay I'm not gonna admit anything but I'm gonna tell a story alright one of my favorite people in the world alright and she passed away but the one thing everyone will tell you about her is uh, she was like four something. She yeah. was she was almost legally a midget. Yeah. And so everybody who came to her funeral 
every last person who had like a speech thing, you know how they talk about her? Yeah. Made fun of her fucking height. <laughs> <laughs> That was like that was like everyone's go to like this is our happy moment. Hey, she was pretty fucking short, wasn't she? <laughs> and I was sitting there, I'm like, it's like literally after the first two people come up, I'm like, oh, okay. Third person, all right. Fourth person, are we just gonna keep fucking talking about how short she was? <laughs> I know that's something we made fun of when she was alive. I don't think like her, probably, ti- her time with us was very short. Yeah, exactly. It was <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> It was so funny. <laughs> what she made, what she lacked in height, she made up in energy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Imagine all that generic ass <laughs> joke shit. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll always laugh about that shit. Even <laughs> what are you gonna say, Bryce? What is your joke? What is your joke, Bryce? I was, say uh, it. I'm like, oh, well, she was a very happy person. Sometimes she can be very short tempered, but <laughs> okay. Real quick, if we're talking about her, let me tell one more story. Okay. She was, uh, cause she was a really Christian lady. Yeah. I made her watch, I made her and her, uh, daughters yeah. watch Paranormal Activity. Oh yeah. Have you seen Paranormal Activity? The I know, first one? I have no of it. You know the jump scare at the end? Yeah. All right. We're watching it. We're not in a theater. We're in a room and the lights are on yeah. and it's the middle of the fucking day. That scene happens. The guy gets tossed towards the camera. She crawls in the frame and everybody's just quiet and she jumps at the camera and you just hear her go, Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That that needs to be a review of that movie. <laughs> Made a Christian go woman go, oh shit. <laughs> it was so funny. And then uh and then I scared her younger daughter to yeah. put on Dead Silence, the one about the puppets. Have yeah. you seen I know the of one it. about the puppets? I know of it. Yeah. So I, I, I hyped it up. I'm like, this is the scariest movie I've ever seen. And at this point the sun was starting to go down. Yeah. And I'm just like, it's so fucking scary. I'm gonna put it in, y'all can go and watch it with me. It starts up. She's like, I don't want to watch it. I'm like, well, you got to stay out in the living room. Can't, it's not time for bed yet. Yeah. It starts playing. And I went, well, I'm going to take a shower now. And I left the room. <laughs> <laughs> so I just made them sit and watch it by themselves, more or less. You are evil. <laughs> I, I think they turned it off once I left. I mean, yeah, I would. <laughs> I went, I'll be back. Keep watching. I'll be right back. I know what happens. Something about puppets right around. Yeah, exactly. They're going to kill people or something. Oh, it doesn't help that on the uh, on like the DVD screen, mm-hmm. it's the puppet like staring straight out of the fucking monitor that, with that's, those that's eyes. Really good, I, I designed too. like this. Well, not as happy like this. Hey, get the fuck back! <laughs> <laughs> you said to your hand. <laughs> 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 There's a moment Derek forgot that it's a puppet he's, he's controlling, and it got too close to his face. Honestly, my hand is sweating in this thing. Yeah, it's like a and big old sock. It's like, it's like going numb, so I don't notice my arm is here. It's like a phantom limb. Do almost. you guys have anything to say before I go into the housekeeping into the final story? Dude, I don't remember what we were just talking about. I started talking about somebody who I like. Uh, yeah. Uh, was it going to the wrong... But Wrong we, funeral. It go, yeah, talking about funerals, and we talked about her funeral, and we talked just talked about her. How about you, Tocino? Do you have anything? I once went to a funeral where I dressed in all black and stood very far away, wearing a black umbrella and a veil. I did not know the person. <laughs> it's like the. <laughs> and I will attend your funeral too, Bryce. I'm here to cause my funeral. January 18th, 2056. If that's that's actually my death day, you're going to shit yourself. (laughs) (laughs) That's, uh... I'll be like... That's 36 years from now. I'll be like 50-something. Bryce, if you die and and somebody points that shit out... I'll be exactly 60 years old. Oh fuck! I'm sorry, Bryce. <laughs> uh, Tessino anyway. is not sorry. Tessino knows all. Tessino sees all. Follow us on Twitter at Die Hat Podcast. That's D Y H A T Podcast. You can all email us at diehadpodcast at gmail dot com if you want to. Uh, you can follow us when we release episodes. You also, if you want to tweet at us or email us about stories you want us to cover, uh, you can go ahead and do that. We'll cover those stories and give you a nice shout out. Um, also, shout out to Young Walnut. 
for Lenny's using his music for intro and outro. You can find him on YouTube and SoundCloud. He is fantastic. He is amazing. He is the best. Um, I'm going to go right into this final story. And don't forget to follow me at Officer Tassino at Twitter. Hashtag Tassino Rules. We got we to gotta make that Twitter. Check and see if that's a thing. Oh, gosh. I have to pull up Twitter Officer now. Tassino. And we have to make an account for Officer Tassino, and it's going to be this fucking puppet. <laughs> Like I, this. I gotta, I gotta. Oh, we gotta, like, Photoshop a gun into his hand. Officer oh, Tosino. Uh, how, how, how do you spell Tosino? Fuck, I don't know. T-O-S-I-N, Tosino? I don't think it's a C. Nothing came up. Cool. C. Nothing came up. Perfect. Hashtag Tosino. Spelled some specific way. It'll be how, spelled how the episode is written, because this episode to... is Tosino. Yeah. Fuck you. Look the, the right way. Uh, hey, guys. Oh, we gotta make a Twitter account for Tassino. Did you hear about this? Did you hear about the big mouth pirate ar- who was arrested? The big mouth pirate? Yeah. No. So, there was a Somali pirate. He was invited to participate in a documentary about piracy in a Belgian airport. Okay. He stepped onto a plane to be interviewed and was arrested on the spot. <laughs> no shit, he's a pirate! <laughs> No fucking shit. <laughs> he's a fucking pirate. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm just going to give you an interview for being a pirate. I know you're doing the thing about piracy. We both know I'm a pirate. I'll just meet you at this place to do an interview. It's safe, right? They did something like that here in America where they were giving away the con was like they were giving away free toasters or some shit yeah. like that. Like people won like a prize. Yeah. And people were coming like, where's my prize at? And they get arrested on the spot. Because <laughs> they're like, they've warned out for the rest. Yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> yeah. How, that's how they trick them to come in. Uh so they had like people stand like in a room like, hey, you made it. Are you such and such, such and such? He's like, yeah, that's me. All right, good. Police officers walking. You're under <laughs> arrest. <laughs> hey, Tassino, have you ever done uh, a sting like that? Actually, this was my idea. I did this. Oh. I've done many stings. Tassino has nothing else to say because Tassino does not know what to say. Have a nice day and obey the law. Tassino out. <laughs>